Okay, so we're back, and we're gonna be talking about fiscal policy. So I'm just I just have this formula here. Not really to we're not get, really gonna be using it in this video, but then just to just to remind you that it's there, I guess. So fiscal policy is government policy to affect why or to affect your income to affect why and the government directly affects why so they directly affect why they directly affect uh, why in two ways or in one way actually the the only way that they directly affect why is through spending so they directly affect why by spending and we have we know the spending this spending is g that's government spending and they indirectly indirectly they indirectly affect y indirectly affect y in another way and that is through taxing so they directly affect y by spending and they indirectly affect y by taxing and now I'm gonna get into the expansionary expansionary fiscal policy fiscal policy or you can just call this uh, you can just call this EFP for expansionary fiscal policy and in 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 expansionary fiscal policy they only do one thing and that is they increase the idea is they increase government spending increase government spending or decrease taxes or decrease taxes taxes or T and what happens when they do this is they will cause they will cause prices to rise actually yeah so they will cause prices to rise and this this is pretty logical because if government increase spending or they decrease taxes then what really happens is people spend more and if you spend more then you will keep on buying the retailers product and if they keep on running low on product and they just have to jack up the prices to 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 meet demand I guess and that's the whole idea behind it so the other the other uh, policy is the contra contractionary the contractionary fiscal policy and these are the two policies that you'll learn in this video expansionary fiscal policy and contractionary fiscal policy and again I'm gonna abbreviate it as CFP and for CFP they do exactly the opposite of what we just discussed so they decrease they decrease government spending or they increase taxes they increase taxes and that's T and as you have guessed the side effects of doing this is that they cause prices to fall cause prices to fall and I'm sure you already know, know the reason behind it because if we decrease our spending then that means that the the seller the retail will just have more and more in stock then if they have so much in stock and they're losing money so they have to decrease their prices in order to give us incentive to actually buy their products and that's the same thing if they if taxes increase if taxes increase not a lot of people will want to buy their products so then the prices will have to fall to get us to actually buy it and this is all I'm gonna go through in this video because in the next video we're gonna start off something new and that is trade and I hope we look forward to that